So pause right, on the collective. Right. The only thing we're going to do is raise the collective. Okay, yep. and we're going to raise the collective because we're in a low inertia 22 at its full rate. But that's only prior to touchdown. Yep. Okay. Engine failure practice. That's it. Uh, that's it. Okay, now lower it down. Neutral pedal, neutral cycle. Right here. Okay. Yep, right here. Let's do it again one more time. Coming up. We'll just do that once more to consolidate. Uh, get yourself set it. Yep. Engine fire practice. I think I need a bit more right pedal than I've been given it. Yeah, well, clearly because we're over, we're pointing for the end of there. However, okay, uh, this is what, what what I guess that you were trying to trying to eliminate the amount you would yaw. Yeah, and we're trying to reduce the amount you'd contact the ground. Okay, you're showing the uh, actions correctly. Yeah. Okay? Sometimes you might not react enough to keep it perfectly straight. Okay, that's the, the theory is that you're at least trying to reduce your your rate. So when you do touch the ground, you don't touch the ground going sideways in a yaw. You potentially roll the helicopter up. Yep. Okay. So um, you know reaction time of holding within 40 degrees. That's not too bad. Yep. Alright, right, let's have a look at the taxi. Sure. I haven't done one of these yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll get rid of that. Yeah. Let's just lock that away, we don't need it at all. Yep. That's for descending. Okay, clear to our left. Gonna move along here. Yeah. As we're taxiing along. And normal, normal taxi speed, something like that. There's a bit of translation there now. I have an engine for an end of our practice. And I raise. We've landed. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, what did you think the uh, what did I what did you notice there about the uh, difference between when I was in the hover to now it was taxiing along? You really felt it lurch forward as it hit the ground. Like the friction with the ground is decelerated. Oh, it decelerated slightly. I didn't. I certainly didn't. Um, um, I didn't lower the collective or, or anything like that. I maintained the collective pitch where it was. Yep. And that's one thing we've got to make sure we don't do is until we are totally stop, is too much lowering of collective. Yep. Okay? Uh, because then we get that blade sailing as well. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you, well, let's have a go at that. Now, the most important thing is maintaining heading control. Okay, so let me do you one more. Yep. Okay, I just want you to feel those actions first. Now I'll talk you through those actions. Yep. Tenecott Tower, Yankee Golf Whiskey, ready runway 2 for left, 4 circuit. Yankee Golf Whiskey, Tenecott Tower, clear for takeoff. Here, Rip, Yankee Golf Whiskey, Tenecott Tower, clear for takeoff. Here, Rip, Okay. Okay, coming forward, we're taxiing a normal hover height, probably normal hover sp uh, taxi speed, about there. Uh, engine failure practice, keeping the heading straight now, raising collective, keeping that collective up, holding that up, lowering it gently now. Now lowering it to the ground. Yep. Okay, it's neutral pedal, neutral cycling. Okay. See, and you didn't half cycling even though the nose dipped. No half cycling. Yep. All right. Because if you do half cycling, um, well, cycling to keep this, this this level, but no half cycling. I no half cycling to stop the helicopter. Like I noticed that it dips. You lose your engine. Yeah, that's right. Because you're taking. Well, it's, it's not really dipping. It's the fact that you are now reducing the um, the um, rotor up here. Yep. And there's that flat forward, as 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 opposed to flat back. So yep. it's slightly dipping forward. Now that's of of some benefit to you, but slightly dips forward because the skids are designed with that curve up at the front. Yep. So come on the front and slide down. They're not designed to hit the rear first, which is why we don't want to put half cycling in. Yep. Okay, so if we, we ideally want to be completely level skid, but if we do go slightly on the front, well then they just will curve and just sit back on their, on their flats. Uh, definitely don't put any half cycling in. So we know why, as per the brief, yep. is because that we can potentially contact the tail boom, yep. because the RPM's under low RPM, Okay, we combine that with hitting or touching the heels of the skids first, yeah. and putting that load uh, through the uh, through the helicopter at that point with a lower inertia. Then it potentially can bump and yeah. contact the uh, the tail boom. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You got control. Yep. Yeah. So maintain heading with the pedals. Yep. Yeah. No 
up cyclic. No, uh, cyclic. Freeze the And raise the cushion. Yep. Okay, I'm just about to uh, talk you through it, so don't get a shock yet. Yep. Engine fire practice. Oh, okay, well done. Okay, we'll pause that there. Yep. Okay, see so your tendency to go whack, bang. Yep. Okay, so we hadn't really... We hadn't really started going down before you went whack, bang. Okay. Okay, let's just try that again. Yep, come crazy, up. Crazy the car. And look along those lines. Engine failure practice. Keep it straight. Got to use that pedal. You can't yep. get solid in the feet. So you're, at the moment, you're just putting your hand, just sticking your feet completely solid. Yep. So you're just going uh, and frozen. Yep. So you've got to keep flying the pedals. Okay. If that's going to, if you're going to your left, on hotel, and then straighten it back up and then go the other way right, well then you've got to put a little bit left in to keep it straight. You need to work the pedals to keep the aircraft straight. Yep. Okay, so you've got to keep manipulating those pedals. If inertia is travelling that way and you're pointing that way, you are now putting ourselves at risk of rollover. Yep. So you have to maintain the heading in the direction of that, that inertia. Okay, so the skids track parallel in line with that. Yep. So let's go again. A little bit quicker, a little bit lower. That's good there. Engine failure practice. Alright, so you see how we sort of deviated off course initially? So yep. you did, I did feel that little bit of right cycling coming in to try and stop that lateral drift. Okay, so that was okay. And um, the action, it, it used enough collective there um, to, to cushion the, the aircraft. So even if they're... So there's a couple of things there in this case. This one's a little bit different because before we were actually travelling straight and we had more of a heading issue. Yep. This one we sort of started to drift off our line. Okay, which means that you've got to use your cycling to manage that tendency to drift whilst now manipulating pedals. Okay, so they're not always totally identical. Not always going to be. And you just were, if you orientate the cycle, your body just moves slightly and it starts to drift left, well, you've got to bring the cycling back to uh, counteract that from happening.